Okay, <clears throat> so this is the next video in the series, should be video number three. And this is going to cover um, what we call uh, what we call wireframing. So this is kind of sketching out how we want our website to look. Um, so I kind of already have an idea of what I want it to look like from um, kind of looking at some other websites and, and just kind of knowing how I uh, feel comfortable laying out a website. So this top bar is going to be our um, navigation area. I'm going to have another uh, container that's going to house um, an image and this image uh, is going to be like a hero image so it's going to be a large format um, image right there. This box with an X represents um, some type of graphical element. Um, next I am going to have another kind of section and in this section I'm going to have three columns and um, each column is going to start with um, an image. I'll try to get three of these images kind of equally spaced the best I can. These don't have to be perfect. Uh, this is just a sketch of your ideas um, of what you want it to kind of look like. So by no means is this going to be perfect. I have some content. This is going to be kind of the preview of a blog post. And then at the end, I'm going to have a button so that they can click it to read more about that specific um, story. So those will be preview images. Okay. Um, the next section that I'm going to have is going to be one more section with kind of a large format image. <clears throat> and then that is going to leave um, my, it's going to leave my footer. It's going to be the last element on here. Um, the, it's going to be three columns once again. The first column is going to be a list of all the different links. So come something to kind of that effect. Um, the middle one might be a, a social media feed. I'm not really sure what I want that middle one to be just quite yet. And then I know this last one will be a, a place where they can sign up for an email a list, kind of like a newsletter. And then I'm going to have social media icons at the bottom so that they can get a hold of me. And at the very, very, very bottom is going to be our contact information um, and our copyright information. Um, so this is going to be kind of the format for my home page. Um, remember, that's going to be index.html. Um, the next thing would be formatting out uh, how we want our internal pages to look. So our internal pages are going to be blog, writers, contact us. Um, student, alumni, and faculty, these will all be the same. These will all be the same layout. Um, probably uh, these two will be the same layout. Um, and then contact will kind of be its own. So um, we, we have some, some things that we need to think through. Your navigation should be the same and your footer should be the same no matter what page we're on. So we know that those are things that can stay the same for sure. So once we have a wireframe that we're happy with, what I like to do, and I think this really, really is going to help um, when it's time for us to begin to code the HTML, is to name each of these, these, these elements. So we know that this right here, this is going to be our head. 
or our header, I'm sorry, this is gonna be our header. I know that this right here, this is gonna be our nav. Um, so remember we're using semantic HTML elements. Um, I know that my hero image is gonna need to be in a div. And this is gonna have a name, um, a class name. That's gonna be a hero image. Um, I know that this is going to be a section and this is going to be a section this is going to be a footer okay so those are pretty simple we know what those are going to be um, individually we're going to have three columns set up and so I'm just going to have three divs with the class and I'm going to say col3 and later on I'm going to know that that means um, three columns okay um, same thing down here in the footer once again we have three columns so I get to reuse that class so div class col3 so, so that I know that that's going to be styled uh, for three columns okay um, Let's see, this uh, bottom section is going to be small. We know that that's going to be uh, our disclaimer, our copyright information. Um, so trying to think what else on here, what else can we go ahead and start thinking about and, and naming so that we can uh, make this, this easier when we set up our, our HTML. You know what, I think for now, I think we should be good. Um, we might change it later, but this gives us a fantastic place to kind of begin to think about how we're going to set up our, um, our HTML.